Good morning, guys. So this is um, the first full day of my trip in Cal California, San Diego. And um, I just got ready. It's a beautiful sunny day out. I am about to have some Bible study and wait for my coffee to get done and prayer time, spending time with the Lord. And then I'm going to go drive all over um, San Diego and my old stomping grounds and just pray over every every place, my old home, um, just all over and just um, I got my my um, worship music and just pray, be with the Lord and ask for redemption over all of those old places and just be with them and then go visit um, Michael's grave site. If you um, watched my video, I'll put up here one of these places, but um, I mentioned about visiting his gravesite. That's my ex of eight years who passed away. And um, as part of my healing, the Holy Spirit said I need to go visit his gravesite while I'm in San Diego. So that's what I'm gonna do today. And before I even do that, I'm going to um, call one of my friends that I know the Lord um, anointed our friendship and has so many connections with my relationship with Michael. Um, and my new friendship with her. So I'm gonna ask for her to pray over me and my time there. And then I'm gonna go visit um, one of my longtime childhood besties who just had her baby. I'm gonna meet her baby. And yesterday I got to meet my nephew Jackson for the first time. He's so, so, so cute. Um, and just see my family for the first time in two years. So it's been a blessed trip so far it's only been not even a full day <laughs> but i'll take you guys along with me and i pray that you're having a blessed day as well let's go all right i just want to show you something that's so 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 cute in my sister's house i count on one thing the same God that never fails will not fail me now. You won't fail me now in the waiting. The same God who's never late is working all things out. You're working all things out. And yes, I will lift you high in the lowest valley. Actually, um, I, I couldn't get over there because the thorn bushes were there, so I couldn't smell the flowers, actually. <laughs> but, let's get going. Lord, guide me and lead me to where you have. I am your child. Lord, I thank you. Let your will be done in my life today. I surrender as your vessel. Whatever it is that you want to be brought into the light, whatever needs to be stirred up inside of my spirit, God, let it come and let's go pray over everything in Jesus' name. Amen. You are famous for.
can't hold you up anywhere, so I'll try to give you guys some some content when I'm driving, but only when it's safe. <laughs> Let's go. had gotten in a near fatal car accident that I drove up on and witnessed and it was a really traumatic incident that happened back in 2011 on June 6th and um, you know him and I would come back here and well we come back we would drive over that accident because we had to get that was the way we would take to get home so there was like a lot of um, flashbacks every time I drive over when I go back home and, um, and just night terrors from that incident but God healed me tremendously from all of that and um, you know when we came back one time Michael and I we had stopped over on the side of the road and did the same thing we're doing now and Michael had taken my brother Eli his ashes and spread them here on this site and um, because Michael got in his car accident because he went out drinking and driving two days after my brother's funeral service. My brother had been murdered and, um, you know, what an intense time for everybody. And Michael didn't have, you know, coping skills. He he was drinking and, um, you know, he went out drinking and driving and nearly killed himself. But God saved him at that point. And, um, it was a crazy experience, a really crazy experience, especially to drive up and witness that and know, like, it was really traumatic for me. That's when I met Marcy. Marcy was uh, a Christian who was pumping on Michael's chest as I drove up and witnessed him laying there and walking up on this car accident. It was a completely, like, out-of-body experience, and I remember... I just kept asking the Lord, like, God, why do you want me to see this? Why do you want me to see this? Like, why am I here? Why are you, why did you stop me? Because I had literally just pulled up on his accident and no rescue officials got there. It was a gruesome, um, just bloody, terrifying, traumatic incident. And, um, you know, I drove, drove up and witnessed it. So... I brought my anointing oil and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pray here over this scene this, where this accident was so many years ago and ask that the Lord, whatever it is from that accident, that traumatic experience, because that 
that whole year of traumas, I had PTSD, depression, daily panic attacks, severe anxiety, um, that he would just give me the anointing oil and use that story in whatever way he wants. Um, so let's go do that. So I had been, you know, pulling, I pulled up somewhere over here. I don't remember exactly where. And Michael, somewhere in this spot was where his accident was. I can't remember exactly. Maybe it may be up a little bit more, but we'll see. Lord, I just thank you so much for all your healing. I thank you for the ways you've moved in my life since this incident happened that was so traumatic so many years ago. Lord, I just ask that you would just cover this ground and those memories with your anointing oil and use this part of my testimony any way you desire, God. I don't live for myself, I live for you. So all glory to God that you, God, can even take someone from a traumatic incident that, that can just like instill so much fear and pain but you can turn a life around because you are God and we are not. And you deserve all the glory. You are a healer. I thank you that you gave me that revelation in such a powerful way This from this incident that happened so many years ago. So Lord, I just ask for your oil to be upon this place and just use me, Lord God, as you wish. In Jesus' name, amen.
I grew up, this is my home. Other people are living there now, so obviously I'm not gonna go and explore and stuff, but that's where I grew up. And this is like our dirt bike track. We have 20 acres out here. I mean, it didn't look exactly like it does now. It's, it was a little nicer, like a lot nicer. But um, yeah, I grew up out here, out in the boondocks. And <sighs> pretty cool. You know, driving up here, um, I just kept thinking about how, like, I have new eyes now, right? I have new eyes to see these old places I used to go and my old home. But, like, I don't know. I just feel different. I just feel like, um redeemed I guess that's the best way I could put it I feel redeemed I feel like there's no sorrow no pain inside of me I feel like like I've grown so much with the Lord that all I can do is just just point people to him and say you find your life in him you find your life you find every single thing that you could ever need and way more in the Lord, in His heart, and, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Just driving up these hills and just praying over all these places and, and just remembering like, oh, this is where I would stop for the school bus, and here's the, the road that I used to walk up after I get off on the school bus to go home, and, and then here's my old home, and, um, you know, here's a place where I had some not so good memories, but I also had good memories and more than anything, it's a part of my story and it, it all led me to Christ, every bit of it. So for that, I'm grateful and I thank my Lord every single day. In Him is everything you could ever need. Your identity, your purpose, your entire life. It's all found in Him. Amen. My heart is breaking In a way I never thought it could My mind is racing With a question are you still good? Can you make something from the wreckage? Would you take this heart and make it whole again? Okay, so where I am right now is in front of this blue sign. If you can see it right there. Whoop, right, whoop, right there. Okay. Now, after my brother passed away, um, there was a family who, who knew us, uh, my family, well. And they ended up um, purchasing on these signs and doing a donation. And so these signs always used to say Eli Lear. And um, when they purchased these signs, it was, uh, I don't know, like sometime after he passed. I don't remember exactly the time frame. But I don't believe at all that they knew that Michael's accident was actually... So get this. So there's two signs. There's, you know, one when I'm driving, um, you know this way and the one I'm driving back the other way and so right in the center of the signs it goes up a hill and down a hill and I don't think they ever knew that right in the center is where Michael had his accident 
Um, so I remember, like, when they got the signs, I always remember thinking, like, wow, God, like, you're moving. Like, you knew that. And, and it's just kind of crazy, but super cool. And so I'm just going to take a picture right here and um, mark on these signs a cross because Jesus redeems it all. Amen. see Michael's gravesite. I just called my dear sweet friend Amanda Danello and had her pray over me and had to go see. So after I have some time alone with the Lord, um, I will take you guys with me. The Lord bless you and keep you. read this prayer to him and you know I don't know if it can reach him or not I don't know if he's in heaven or hell I don't know but my faith my hope my love my trust is all in Jesus and I obey what he asked me to do I feel like this is really like the closing of that chapter I don't have any emotions arising I don't have any any of that and I know that's because the Lord has done such a good work in, in through me. So, may this bring glory to your name, Lord. It's all about Jesus. lighting so um, after I went to Michael's gravesite and then Shawnee's I got to see baby Grace um, I stopped by the produce store and got some veggies and I'm gonna make some dinner for my sister and brother-in-law and uh, niece and nephew so that's where I'm at now just arrived and um, hope you enjoyed so far taking this trip with me.